So a project set up here, I want to add a drum part to it using programmed drums. But luckily, we don't have to use just samples or loops. We can use samples from loops. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video, how we can cut up our loops and create samples from them. So let's hear what this sounds like. I want to add a drum part to it. So create a new track, put it at the top, name it drums. I'm going to put it into record and make sure it's set up for MIDI input. So I play my MIDI controller down here. It shows up on the track. Then I'm going to change the record mode to be record MIDI overdub right here. This way, if we record multiple passes, it won't erase the previous pass like a drum machine. Then I'm going to make it so it quantizes on the input. Right click over here, go to track recording settings, input quantize, and change it to 16th notes and turn it on right here. So it'll quantize on the way in. So now we need to add a plugin to play our samples. So go to the effects on this track, go to the Reaper effects and choose Resampomatic 5000, which is a sampler that comes with Reaper. Double click it. And it looks like this. Now we're going to find some samples. So go to the view menu, Media Explorer, which opens up the Media Explorer, where we can go through our hard drive and find any loops stored there. I set up a folder right here with some loops I want to go through. I don't really care for any of these loops, but I still like some of the sounds within them. So what we could do is start off with a kick and find a loop that we like the kick for. I think I like this one. So we can go over here and zoom in, hold that control on the PC, command on the Mac, and drag up to zoom in and just highlight the kick. Make sure we just have the kick, which you could trim on each side, the left and right side. We're happy with it. We could use this sample. And we could bring this in by right clicking and go to insert into sample player and reuse the active sample player, which is the one we're using right here. This one is active, but instead, I created a toolbar button right here. It's going to insert into the active sample player. And I added an icon right here. So it looks like this. So I can just hit this button and it adds the sample into the active sample player, which is this one. So now we just have the kick right here. And if we play a MIDI keyboard, it triggers that sample on all the keys. We probably don't want that. So I'm gonna hit the key I want it on, C2, and then double click, note start, and it sets it up. So just that key is gonna trigger that sound. The other ones don't. I'm gonna rename this instance by hitting F2 to kick. This will make it easier to remember which sample goes with each plugin. Then we're going to duplicate this instance, copy paste. We'll name this one snare and find a snare sample. Go back to the Media Explorer, find a snare we like. I kind of like this one. We'll zoom in again, control on the PC, command to the Mac, and drag it up. Right here, get a bit closer, make it perfect, make it longer. And again, with the selected, just hit this button. Now it's set up in here. We'll give it a different key by hitting D2, double click. Now the snare is D2. 
Perfect. We'll just keep doing this for every sample we want. Copy, paste. Name this one, clap. Let's find a clap we want. Kind of like this one, zoom in. Perfect, hit the toolbar button, and it adds it right here. Hit a different key, I'll do E2. Now we have three sounds. Let's make this a bit louder. Sounds good. Also, let's tune it down a bit. A bit too much. Perfect. Now let's add a hi-hat. Copy, paste. Rename it. Go to the Mi Explorer and find a hi-hat we like. Kind of like this one. Again, we'll zoom in. Hit that toolbar button. And it's added in here. Give it a different key. Make it a bit louder. Pan it to the left. Let's remove the pitch change from the clap. We could also shorten this with the sustain and the decay. If we want it shorter. That's better. Then let's add an open hat. And we could use the same sample. Copy and paste. Rename it open hat. Go to the Media Explorer. And we'll use the same sample. Because there's an open hat in here. Right here. Make it a bit longer. Perfect. We use sampler. Give it a different key. Perfect. Now we're ready to program a beat. And because I set up MIDI overdub over here, we can record this like a drum machine. I can record the kick, snare, and clap in one pass and the hi-hat in another, like this. Sounds good. If we want to edit the part, we can double click it, which opens up the MIDI editor where we could see all our notes our kick, snare, clap, hi hat, and open hat. And we could adjust our notes, change them right here, and also mix it right in here. Just the volume of our kick, snare, clap, hi hat from here, along with the panning and our tuning if we want. So, as you can see, we can get much more creative instead of just using our drum samples by creating samples out of loops that we like. Without having to choose the whole loop and its part completely, just using different drum sounds within it. So that's pretty much it. That's creating samples from loops in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.